YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Never fear, looking Jay's here. Back with another sneaker video. Today, if you don't know, news has broke that Adidas has terminated the contract with Ye. There will be no more uh, Yeezy Adidas product being sold. I'm wondering how that's all going to go about as far as that product they have in hand. Um, and all their retailers of like like send the stuff back like I don't know how that's all gonna happen they're, they're just gonna have to lose that money are they gonna burn the product like or they're gonna like donate it to third world countries I'm just wondering what's happening with that product if it's not gonna get sold um, you know like uh, championship teams they have the shirts made out and then they're not champions anymore and then they get rid of it so um, just wondering about it but um, but now yay he has um, freedom no contract with Gap no contract with Adidas now and that's what he wanted uh, started out with them copying his uh, his slides it looked like his slides and the um, uh, the foam runner, I forgot what, what the name of it, the Q foam something, I don't know, something that they made up in like the early 2000s and they brought it back, but still got the, the easy DNA vibe to it, and um, so that made him feel like, look, I'm done with the contract, he says some things, um, yeah, uh, and that's it, his contract's done. So, um, yeah, so uh, Adidas has done this in the past as far as releasing, and they are releasing uh, older Kobe sneakers, just not under any Kobe name. And um, so here we have the original, not, this is not the original, but they, this silhouette is the original KB8. But now Adidas releases it under the Adidas Crazy 8 name. So all they will have to do is change the name of the um, Adidas Yeezy product, uh, rebrand the uppers or whatever, have a way. And um, I mean, you can keep everything the same, but you got to remove all the Yeezy name from the sneaker. And the box. Um, any old colorways that they've done and future colorways can't be used by Kanye um, in whatever he tries to do. So I'm wondering if they're both going to release the same uh, identical or is he going to tweak it like John Geiger did the Air Force One and Bape? They've done the Air Force One. The uh, the dunk and the Jordan, they, 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 they've uh, they tweaked it enough that it doesn't look like it, but you know where the DNA comes from. It's basically that sneaker. Uh, Virgil Abloh did a a good like refresh of the dunk in the OOO sneaker out of office. As I reviewed that sneaker, you know, um, and so if you tweak it enough you could uh, make it your own so you just use it as inspiration as it is um, his thoughts and designed um, just helped out by uh, by other designers you know he's just sketched it he has a vision in his head and it's come out so at the end of the day all he has to do is get some more designers to help him uh, get it out get some lawyers to um, make sure that it is enough of a change to get a smooth transition where he doesn't get no lawsuit brought onto him that the changes are enough and uh, especially the uppers you know the bottoms it's not that hard to uh, to change out the bottoms and stuff um, but yeah he's gonna have to rework the sneakers I think that he actually could do that too the Yeezy uh, the Nike Air Yeezy 1 and 2, retool them, 
Um, of course, no no branding of the swoosh. Uh, could retool the uh, the midsoles, outsoles of those, and um, actually do the same thing to the uh, Louis Vuittons. Um, retool them as even Virgil retooled his uh, a couple of the. Um, Louis Vuitton's that he took inspiration from the ABI 880 which will be releasing later this year so um, all you gotta do is switch it up enough to um, not have any uh, legal problems come your way so it, it's not that hard you just gotta have some money which he says he has over a hundred million dollars in his bank account and uh, you know so yeah, we'll see what happens. I know he said he wanted to, um, like, sell shirts or products uh, for, like, $20, whatever it is. Um, just, uh, I'm guessing he's going to get his uh, retail store dream that he's been wanting to do as Adidas and uh, Gap never fulfilled those um, things that he wanted. He wanted a retail space. And... You know, you got so many brands out here that have retail spaces, so it shouldn't be that hard to uh, to get that. Um, it's just uh, gonna be a while. We'll see what happens. Um, as uh, from what it's like, just from me looking on the outside, is uh, who, who's gonna really want to work with him after what he said? You know, of course. Um, um, doesn't change uh, anything about the music though you know I don't know how all that works with the contracts um, as far as music all the music has been out there and at the end of the day all his uh, product that has been um, bought and will be continued to be bought is under an umbrella of uh, designers and people that he's influenced and um, yeah at the end of the day you could say oh he's done he's canceled but um, anybody he's worked with um, that has like done product and still will be doing product is still under the umbrella they're still connected to him however way you see it if it wasn't for him they wouldn't be around um, you know say uh an example virgil all his product is under the uh the yeezy umbrella because he is the the head of the the tree and everybody's underneath him as he's under the tree of wherever they signed him so ding dash and jay-z they're all under the same umbrella and have a fourth it goes up but you know if it wasn't for him all the the whole umbrella doesn't work without him so you know, that's just my thoughts. Um, uh, and as far as music, whoever he's worked with, um, I don't know how all that's going to work out, you know. But we'll see. Um, crazy uh, that he uh, he did what he wanted to um, do as far as get out of the contracts. Can't believe he said the things he said to get out of the contracts, you know. So, you have that. Uh, but uh, we'll see. All right, YouTube, signing out. Peace.